Sasuke vs Itachi, who is the real winner? Now we all know by the end of the series that Sasuke is able to beat not only Itachi but a majority of the shinobi in Naruto but I thought it'd be interesting to see when exactly in Sasuke's story would he be able to beat a live Itachi as well as Edo Itachi. It'd be too easy to say that Sage's sixth path Renegon Sasuke would be able to beat either version so let's dissect Sasuke's many forms throughout the series to see at which point he could beat the versions of Itachi. Today I have another Naruto slash anime YouTuber to join the fray and give insight between this matchup good friend of mine, bro is sublime, master of the YouTube arts, say hello to the people, King of Chaos. Yo everybody, it's your boy, King of Chaos, here to give you another collaboration with my boy, Curly Haired Okage. Yes sir, yes sir, and we have another person on the other line, he is a Minato meat writer, he's a diehard fiend, somehow my friend of 10 plus years, say what's up Marcus. Hey, I stand hey, by that title, what's good y'all? You really want to be claimed the Minato meat writer, is, is that where you're going to die on? If you ever make a YouTube nah, but I stand by it though, you know what I'm saying? Okay. That's how I was gonna die on it, but <clears throat> okay, bro. Anyways, he doesn't have a YouTube channel, but if you guys want him to spam it in the comments, hashtag Minato Meat Rider. But today we're gonna be talking again about Sasuke versus Itachi. Go throughout the many forms from part one Sasuke to Sage's six paths uh, by the end of the series, and see where it lies between where we can find that that Sasuke can beat this Itachi, starting with the live Itachi. And yeah, let's get to it. Uh, so first, Sasuke we're gonna be introducing is part one Sasuke, specifically at the end of the first part of the series because we all know how initially Sasuke versus Itachi went in the hotel it was a complete wash Itachi used like one hand to pretty much beat him kicked him a couple times and that was pretty much it which did prompt Sasuke to seek out for power which enabled him to up his curse mark to stage level two so we can talk about it a little bit even though I feel like it's a complete wash again with Itachi do you guys have any insights do you see any sort of arguments you could be made that could be made for Sasuke in his favor in the end of part one absolutely not honestly I I think the best case you get for Sasuke and his scaling is just a little bit, in my opinion, below Naruto at that point, because it all depends on what, how you want to scale them mm -hmm. with Naruto intentionally trying to scratch Sasuke's headband versus Sasuke intentionally trying to smoke him. I personally just can't give it to Sasuke. To have, I mean, because we know that that Naruto doesn't stand a chance against the likes of Orochimaru, Jiraiya, etc. So no, he, he's not standing a chance. And how about you, Marcus? Yeah, they're they just not on that level yet. Like, they're still on the relatively getting level of things depending on what they're doing like you could say the naruto fight with like gamma bunta was a little bit of an outlier but other than that they're not they did they're just not reaching the level of sanin plus and itachi is above that even still so like yeah nah not happening all right i'm glad we got that out the way i, I just feel like some people would try to make an argument even though it's pretty much no i just want to know who like I, I, I don't know like people who watch the series and right there and just edit it well technically okay, even if you, it Kage, right there. you actually have sasuke scaling higher because we find out later that Su yeah, sui getsu's curse mark uh, it actually has sage chakra so technically speaking you could scale sasuke to just below the other likes of sages such as minato and jirai if we're getting really technical <laughs> if someone is generally going to make that comparison i need to revoke i, I broke my fingernail scraping yeah. the bottom of the barrel there for that argument but hey i did it <laughs> that because this is the yes. first time i'm ever hearing of this oh it's oh, oh it's that tec it's technically true but hey well i mean as far as the whole I mean, so that's like the beyond the reach bro like that's but, oh yes <laughs> to no end. like make make no mistake it's it, like sasuke yeah, does not say crazy. a chance i think that if you're being honest with yourself here you, you can't even put him again you don't put naruto above that and rochimaru was fondling naruto when he was using qb chakra with harsher intention than he was against sasuke so i think we can yeah. just skip right to the next one from that okay yeah that's sure. perfectly fine and this is a fight that did indeed happen that being heavy sasuke after the orochimaru absorption versus itachi in the uchiha hideout now sasuke did win that fight but assuming you continued on with naruto past that point you didn't stop watching the show right there you would know that sasuke technically wouldn't have won had itachi had been trying let me clarify itachi wasn't trying to kill sasuke but he was putting on pressure to alleviate the curse mark from heavy sasuke but if we look at it logistically that sasuke would not have been able to beat even a sick itachi at that point so uh, what do you guys think of that oh yeah no i yeah like you said there's like multiple multiple various factors as to why not only that but he was also sick like purposely trying to prolong his life just so he could fight and die in that fight like he planned to die in that fight 
like beyond all that on top of him also having to hold back because like even at the end you could have easily just killed sasuke while he was in the susana but he just kind of just dissolved it it's like all right whatever i'm done you know what i mean like he's beyond not trying there you had to be what like maybe like 20 percent at best so i ain't gonna lie to you i disagree with the 20 percent the numbers but as far as the substance goes i'd say i, I agree at the heart of it itachi was definitely okay. trying the whole purpose of it was him running down sasuke's chakra to bring out orochimaru force up much cells etc 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 because he wanted to extract the orochimaru before he died he was still yeah. trying he may not have been trying with the intention to kill but yeah you know, i was like, i should say he wasn't trying to kill him he was like he had to put an effort to like make it look genuine yeah i would say that yeah there's also that factor too like you said of him, him just genuinely trying to put up the keep up the illusion itself of hey yeah i'm trying to i'm your enemy blah 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 you know don't you don't like big bro type stuff so uh -huh. I, I i could definitely back with that too yeah i don't know yeah i'd like for him actually like trying try i mean he really he really had to like make it seem like like it was real like he had to make well, it that real karen Sasuke. was real all right yeah and he would not yeah, bring yeah. out if he wasn't trying he wouldn't have bring out susan in the first place oh yeah yeah no like for that so yeah he definitely had to put in some it had to be more than 20 percent just for the fact that the, like, i mean no, I what know. would you what would you put it at if you had to give it like a, i mean if he bringing out susan i'm saying he's he's repping at least you know 80. you think 80 really like I mean, he's going 80 percent of like full power i wouldn't put it of course, that high. absolutely i mean look uh i get like it's, it's 60 like in that moment because again like if he really really truly wanted sasuke dead he could have just when he was at full health at the start of the fight pulled out susano and honestly just killed him right there i mean the hold fight up wouldn't here, lasted let, five let, seconds. let's be very clear here that susano is not like a lightning timer it's not like it's Sas in sasuke's no slouch i mean speed. it kind of has to be because he blocked he blocked kieran with it which is you know oh okay hold up yeah let, let, let me clarify let me sorry it is indeed a lightning timer what i'm um, trying to say what i mean by that to clarify is that yeah. susano spawning on him mm -hmm. that could be a lightning timer i could see that but we don't know exactly like how powerful it is per se as far as like its movability like we've never seen another susano strike with the speed of lightning or anything like that we i mean the manifestation mm -hmm. was you know that solid yeah but like i would also like argue that it moves relatively quickly in comparison to because like for example this is like i guess a different kind of example but like say in the nagato fight itachi was able to like stab nagato before he could react with the uh tosca blade now you could argue that since he was being controlled there was like other Auto factors there Nagato or like yeah like Nagato. yeah that's why other example even with like say orochimaru like he was able to stab him with the tosca blade before i mean now i guess technically there you could say that orochimaru was gonna let it but i would still say it's pretty fast like comparatively to it's like spawning in on top of you i would say he you could like he can spawn know? that and stab sasuke in like like not I know you're not saying like boom instantly, but you're not like you instantaneously. But I mean, like, I don't see if he spawned it immediately. I don't see how Sasuke is going to like manage to. I mean, if he just tried to run away, maybe. But I feel like Itachi could honestly just get him like that like spawn the susano like swing the tosca blade at him like i don't see like you know what i mean like he might be able to avoid it but at the very least the fight would be ending very quickly like because what is he gonna do like if he would have just have pulled that out right away or let's say he like used the matarasu like around him so he can't like escape and then he pulls it out you know he could have done that too instead of like wasting and like dragging the fight out until he actually died you know what i mean and even if after itachi pulls out the susano and sasuke doesn't react to it or whatever or like he knows him oh susano boom boom like because because of the Yadamir, he's not going to be able to do anything past that. And you could argue mm -hmm. Kieran, but like he, the like, only reason he was able to put Kieran in the first that place. Yadimir. Oh, okay. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, it's wait, not wait. omnidirectional. I agree. All right. Let's start there. Good. I'm glad we're at least getting down. That is not omnidirectional. Oh, yeah, he no. get hit from the back. Pause. <laughs> Like, like nobody's business. Yo. I'm just saying. Yeah, he could, but, but however, that's the thing. It's like, sure, the Yadamir is not in the back, but the Susano is still in the back. Sasuke has nothing aside from not even Karen that can pierce the Susano anyway, just the regular Susano, you know? So how would he even get past that? Even just his normal armor without the Yadamir. Okay, so I'll say this. For starters, if we're going to go in-universe Sasuke, maybe he can't pull it. You know, maybe in-universe Sasuke is just, you know, kind of dumb and he just doesn't have the IQ for it, can't get the job done, whatever. That being said, I definitely see a world where, like, if, if you, you stick a controller up his butt, you give it someone like me, no. oh, I could absolutely get the job done with Sasuke. 100%. Oh, uh, you're saying get the job done as far as what? Like, when? I mean, Sasuke's whole thing is, like, he, he was playing this whole fight on Itachi's terms, right? He went where Itachi wanted. When Itachi said, all right, pull up here, he went there. If Sasuke actually wanted Itachi just dead, like, purely just gone, he could have gone about it, like, in so many different, more smarter ways, a more direct approach. You know, so, relying like, on his teammates. So, you're saying, like, in a normal, are you saying in a normal circumstance? 
circumstance where Itachi's trying to kill him, you saying Sasuke could still win? I'm saying that if Sasuke goes in there, he there's there is more potential for him to catch him off guard than people are giving credit for. That's it. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that Sasuke maybe, Sasuke goes, but mm -hmm. on he the fact that he would be able me. to do anything relevantly, I I have to disagree on that. Like, sure, if Sasuke could have like not honored his terms of like meeting in a certain place or like having dialogue with him, he could have just came in all bloodlusted. But so could Itachi, and Itachi would be way more potent in my opinion. Like I like I he could have like done that, but Itachi in this even sick is still faster, stronger, has better eyes, even while like in this state. So like I don't see how Sasuke could really like win, like best him just by being like you know like bloodlusted or trying to catch him off guard, especially because he, he has the you know he has the Mangekyo. Like it's gonna be kind of hard to catch him off guard with that. Well, Sasuke if, if Itachi was like Sasuke trying to kill him. even with the Mangekyo though. So it's not like the Mangekyo. Just because you have a better weapon doesn't mean you're a better pilot. Remember that was one of the things now. In that yeah, fight. it is. But see, this is my thing now. Do you think? that itachi like holding back part of that was letting sasuke break out of the sukiyomi oh yeah because he did break it out um yeah. that's a good qu i feel like now that you bring that up i feel like it itachi had to have no but uh that's, I mean, a good, that's a good question because like there's no other indication that like itachi let it pass but because like because what, what made because it doesn't hmm. make sense to me that sasuke was able to get out of it now question this depends on how you want to interpret this but if i'm not mistaken towards the start in the gar arc wasn't kakashi able to break out of one done by the 30 percent clone I didn't he know. do like some kind of reflection you remember when he got turned into like paper or whatever i think unless that was unless that wasn't sukiyomi that might not have been sukiyomi i don't think that was that could have been a normal I think if not then yeah I, I would say i don't believe okay if that's the case then if that wasn't sukiyomi then forget that i would say it's probably not possible to normally break out of it once you're caught in it just because of like the maybe that was maybe sukiyomi. what with kakashi sukiyomi. oh kakashi and itachi in shippuden about... like uh in, oh, yeah, that was in sukiyomi. shippuden no in shippuden no. no no not in part one the one where they fought the 30 percent clone you remember oh, how no. you touched no, that, was, yeah, that, that wasn't was right sukiyomi. yeah no okay because where they, he got turned into like paper or something i forget what happened but yeah because i was going to use that as an example of how someone could break out of it but if that wasn't Tsukiyomi, then I don't know that Sasuke could normally break out unless Itachi allowed that to happen, and he just made Sasuke think that he Hold broke out on his own. Hold up. We're assuming that Sasuke didn't break... The way the story's told, it implies that Sasuke broke out on his own. Yeah. Yes, like, but that was before we knew, obviously, so we'd have no well, reason to think that he didn't. Like, there's no, we like... We also yeah, thought Itachi actually died on, you know, by Sasuke winning, you know what I mean? We know that Itachi wanted Sasuke to win. That's a fact. Yeah. That doesn't take away the fact of everything... Sa that doesn't mean that every single thing that Sasuke did in that fight only happened because Itachi let him uh, majority i would say I so mean, like i see everything but i see both sides to this my thing yeah. is for itachi why would he input sukiyomi if you want sasuke to win and like sukiyomi is a trump card where it's like he uses this as pretty much ggs what would it be itachi's end goal afterwards if he uses sukiyomi which he did i got an easy using... answer for this mm. easy he wants sasuke to use up most of his chakra remember so you think itachi already knew that sasuke was able to get out of sukiyomi no i think that sasuke that he knew that he could either drain sasuke's chakra at that point on his own, hypnotize him and be on some hey, you think the fight, I mean, think of it this way. Itachi puts him in a genjutsu, mm -hmm. makes him expend all of his chakra thinking he's fighting it. Orochimaru comes out. He seals him. He uses his Mangekyo to make him, or his Sharingan to make him think that he won the fight. Nothing changes at that, at that point. I feel like it's just hard to interpret, or we can't say definitively whether he oh, made yeah. it easier for him to break out or not. Like, yeah, because no, he I, still could I, have also made it, he could have also just been like, oh, I'm gonna put him under Sukiyomi and make him think this is like the real deal, but like I'll just let him like break out of it with I've, the Sharingan. You know what I mean? Well, I, do, no, I feel, I feel like at that point, though, I feel like the story would have gave context to that. I think it was like how it was shown Sasuke, him getting out of the Tsukiyomi. Like, that was Sasuke, if that makes sense. But that's it, what I'm saying. Uh, but I'm still, but been, I'm, yeah. But why but I'm still in the I middle I just that, like, don't think you can say 100%. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to say 100%. Because, I mean, we, we obviously know later on that he was indeed trying yeah, to, like, okay. manipulate the fight. Let me be fight, clear on that, but, too. I'm saying Itachi's only using 80% of his intention to fight right now, anyways, right? 60 or 70 at most, but he'll look. 80%. Yeah, I'm, I'm not like that. 20, 30, bro. <laughs> I'm saying Kachi's using 80%. Because I'm, I, I've never seen nobody. Oh, use. Imagine. That's a, imagine mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's just like what I'm saying is whatever Itachi's using, he's using all. Of, he's using all of that 80%, though. Because again, there's mm. so many other ways he could have drained Sasuke in the first place without even bothering with the, the Tosca Blade. Okay, I have a question, though. Now, what would you say in a fight with Hebi Sasuke versus Orochimaru with the eight headed serpent? Who do you think would win? Are we talking about healthy? Yeah, like the Orochimaru that came out of Sasuke, who was in his like 
eight-headed serpent form, which is his like strongest form. Do you think oh. Sasuke could beat that by himself? I'm gonna say no, honestly. Wait, Sasuke yes. I mean, beating that, that Orochimaru's like, form? That, that's still a weaker yeah. Orochimaru than when Orochimaru is in his physical prime. No, nah, according to the data books, according to the data books, that's his strongest form. The eight-headed serpent. I, I thought the data books said that that's his strongest summon. No, it's not a summon. Head. I think he was like inside the. It was like a transformation. Because right, Swain said that thing was a summon. I, I mean, since he was inside of it, I, I, I thought like I mean we could double check. I don't know unless you have it somewhere, but like I believe it was a transformation because he was actually in it. Like he, you know what I mean? Like it's not like he was like riding it. He was literally inside of its like mouth or whatever. Like it was like he transformed into it kind of. And when Itachi stabbed him, the whole thing got sucked up as it was like part of him. You know what I mean? Maybe you're on it. I mean, I, I could be so, wrong on this. Like my initial question was, do you think that that form of or, of Orochimaru is stronger than Sasuke? Like if Sasuke were to just fight that Orochimaru, could he like win? I think so. You I think, think so? I'm, weaker, I think that's mm -hmm. still weaker than the Orochimaru we saw against Haruzen because he doesn't I mean he still doesn't have access to all of his you know his, his jutsu and everything. Still. Yeah, I mean that is technically a jutsu, I guess. But like, I, I mean, I, I honestly because I would say since again if the data books hold true to whatever that statement said, which is that like you know that's like his strongest form, the eight-headed serpent, whatever, then that would mean that's on the level of like the Sani. I don't think Heavy Sasuke is beating Jiraiya and Orochimaru is on the same level as Jiraiya. So like th that's where I'm kind of like getting that scaling from. Like I don't think Sasuke could beat like a Sani level character at this point and it's implied that this is Orochimaru's like tip top form like transformation at least sorry when you say signing do you mean like sage yeah. mode signing do you mean like the you like skill unleash signing do you mean like like what, no i just uh, say general because honestly i don't even think heavy sasuke is beating like dry without sage mode for example i can't see that maybe like it wouldn't be an easy fight but i don't think he's winning that so like through that since i'm saying itachi was able to like almost instantly beat that strongest form of rochimaru i'm like there's no way he he would have put more effort into fighting sasuke than into that and he killed him almost instantly so why wouldn't he be able to do that to sasuke some fights are also rock paper scissors matchups too it's not like oh this person beats this person so this person beats this person sometimes no you're right there's like speed durability yeah Chikara shikamaru beat hadan because he had prep time yeah but like and also on top of that Aroch i mean itachi also knew that orochimaru was gonna pop up so that means he could have purposely been holding back even more knowing he was gonna have to fight orochimaru which he probably saw as a bigger threat than sasuke at the time i mean i think we're definitely getting way too <laughs> speculative sorry with that one that's but, way too generous of a take yeah yeah but like he did for sure know orochimaru was gonna come out we know that already i don't think he knew in that form i don't think he was he imagined, yeah not in that oh, form he's gonna pop out not in that form. I, I think he knew he was gonna have to worry about Orochimaru taking over Sasuke's body yeah and extracting the chakra I didn't think he's like or at oh. the very least coming out in normal form which again I still think regular form Orochimaru could like is stronger than Sasuke at that point like just standard like without the you know without the whole eight-headed serpent so even if he just thought that form was coming out he'd still have to be like oh I need to save most of my power to fight him too knowing that he's fighting Sasuke as well you know what I mean like if a stronger person is gonna like come out from Sasuke if like he was stronger how would Sasuke be you mean Orochimaru yeah I mean at that point he was like on his deathbed like he couldn't even barely do nothing so he'd still be on point. his deathbed this is he comes back i don't know it didn't seem like he was see this is weird because like again he came out in a whole transformation it seemed like he was perfectly fine at that point at least he wasn't like he manifested sick. through the curse mark cells yeah so like at that point he must have been souped up in some form like mm -hmm. there's no way he was like still like as sick as he was when he died previously That's because case, like all he would have to do is get someone like anko or anyone else who had a curse mark on them he could have got he wouldn't even need it sasuke's body and that's what and i was just thinking that's why that retcon is yeah. stupid of him coming back in the war because if he was dying in the in the bed or whatever like if he died then who cares he just needs to be revived like through an encore or whatever and then he's good to go like i don't know why yeah like this, i mean to think because like as you're maybe, saying that because like like uh, I'm, I'm in the line of like yeah he comes back like during that itachi fight like he should be good he, yeah. he didn't look like he was like Ugh, i'm like yeah he like, might not have had his jutsu though but he at least came back with that like it had a serpent thing and he wasn't like giant form, yeah yeah at least he, he might not have had his use of his arm still but he wasn't like fatigued at least without jutsu he's not beating sasuke that's the reason sasuke got him in the first place he was weak tired and didn't have jutsu yeah i mean i would say more so because he was like weak because i mean even without his jutsu he was still able well i don't know what that was it was just his like true form i think like that snake thing he summoned yeah let's we'll call it like a but it's still movie. lost it's an interesting topic honestly like <laughs> <laughs> uh, thinking about it but yeah all right so i mean are we good final, so, but we still agree <laughs> we still, i mean it was a good combo but yeah, we still agree regardless he loses like yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, like to me i like, mean and like yeah yeah i don't think there's anything you can really pull to like get him to win there just yeah, genuinely yeah. not yeah that for sure yeah itachi still takes the cake let's go to the next sasuke form taka sasuke yeah no like he loses oh this, yeah no this is it's a complete wash 
like it's utterly disgusting how itachi would beat this version of sasuke because this sasuke i'm not even sure if most people know this is a weaker sasuke than the previous sasuke we just talked about because he loses the he loses the curse mark and loses any attribute that was <clears throat> given from from the curse mark you know like this the like this what what, what is the, like the snake what what exactly yeah you get i think you i believe you get an advanced healing but something else to know that as the chakra gets darker from the uchiha they all do get i mean they they get stronger still so that that is a factor yeah you gotta, yeah but that you, uh, that doesn't just that's not like realized until killer b August. fight kind of sasuke yeah which so like at that point he only had like slightly improved genjutsu and then he just unlocked a matarasu so like yeah, nah, yeah was, if, if that's all that sasuke much. has then like, he's not being itachi let's just let's just keep it a buck that's that for that yeah so next sasuke five kage summer sasuke this one to me is interesting because he scales completely different from like the beginning of the the arc to like the end like he progressively gets a lot stronger yeah so like you mm. can make an argument that there's a certain point in this arc that this one beats itachi mm. so let me ask you is do you guys think there is a certain point or like do you think from the get-go like during are like we his saying end of, okay we have to decide when we're saying five kage summit sasuke are we saying the end of series sasuke are we saying sorry sorry are we saying the end of that fight sasuke are we saying the beginning are we saying after donzo after he's already escaped with obi so like i, I need to know because that is the yeah, most are we starting question. with his like strongest form in that arc basically yes, gets, so like he gets way stronger by the end of that fight yeah so like yeah, i think fight, he progresses a bunch yeah i think uh i think just to keep say like his peak so like it would be like near the like assume at the end like he's healed like there's no real issues with his eyes or whatever his peak like he fights itachi at that point do you think mm -hmm. that one beats itachi so i think hmm. a huge factor in that's going to be experience right yeah that's the thing. i mean because when I, I guess a way you could look at it is he kind of has most of what itachi has but just like worse in most ways like mm -hmm. susano a worse version his eyes the worst version because you know tachi has the i mean well he has more experience i guess with using it so like at this point i don't know hmm. i mean i don't know about the rest of the stuff like speed or like that kind of thing but i would say itachi having the again mainly mainly because of yadamir and tosca blade that would probably give him an edge but it's like it would be a like a high difficulty Kind of fight oh and sukiyomi also sasuke doesn't have that either so i think that as the fight progresses sasuke's eyes obviously get stronger and stronger more darkness more chakra we know how that works but the real factor here for me is by the end of the fight has sasuke's progression and hatred gone beyond that of what's anything i don't know itachi has gone through it's kind of hard to quantify suffering so instead i'll say this i think if in terms of experience itachi would get it but sasuke has technically fought more powerful opponents with his sharingan right i mean who, who all has itachi had to even use his Mangekyo Sharingan against. He used it. The only person we've ever seen him use it against, I believe, was Sasuke in Kakashi, right? Is there anyone else he's, he's used uh, it against? Use what specifically? I'm sorry. His, his Mangekyo Sharingan. Has he used it against anyone else other than uh, other Sasuke and Kakashi? Uh, I don't so, like, think so. Uh, so my thing is Sasuke has fought stronger opponents and he's used his he's used his Mangekyo against stronger people. If we're going simple scaling-wise, at that point, I'd say at the point he fights Donzo, I'd say, I, yeah, I, I'd say probably... Or a little bit beyond once he's beat like soundly defeated donzo you know he's gone in there to the point where he almost smoked the right kage yeah yeah i'd say confidently i think at that point that sasuke would would beat out itachi at the end of it to be at, very the, at the end yeah at the end yeah and he's he's just fought stronger people than he has like itachi hasn't had as much like who has he had time to like use his mangekyo against how much practice does he even have like using it who itachi yeah uh, i mean who's i'm he, sure he's, he's practiced a bunch i just don't know like if we've seen him fighting using experience and usage is relevant right like the way mm -hmm. You know how and where you use things matters and where sasuke he's fought against donzo the right kage gara uh the mizukage the shuchikage at this point he's fought against five kages like yeah. that's a lot of battle experience and that's a lot of time for his eyes to get stronger through the hatred mm -hmm. the hatred I, I, I don't know I, I think that like that that's an underslept on point at sasuke like he really has fought in pound for pound more stronger people than itachi ever had yeah that's a that's a pretty good point actually i think i can contest to I end a five kage summit sasuke assuming he's not blind or whatever at his peak like that could be in a live itachi um even if he, uh, whether he was sick or not because like you said his boost throughout the five kage summon arc with him fighting us all the kage like that really amped him up especially with his hatred his chakra growing darker and yet stronger those amps really help solidify that sasuke by the end of the arc so yeah i could see that that version of sasuke being out itachi you can see yeah and i'm not saying 100 percent yeah no i, I think uh, confidently 
Out yeah. of ten fights, he could probably pull at least. I'd say he could pull five. Yeah, it's, it's it's at least arguable this version of Sasuke. I think going forward, we're gonna see the differences that lie ahead. Oh, but yeah. this, at least this one, it could be semi argued. You could argue Itachi, yeah, you could I think argue this Sasuke. This is the closest but the, point of equality. Exactly. Yeah. This is the point to where you can see like Sasuke is actually stepping into the ring and like, yeah, I can actually do something against Itachi. But what, what do you think, Marcus? Do you think Five Kage Summit Sasuke at the end can uh, withstand a live Itachi, or do you think the Itachi can snuff off the edge of this one? See, I would say, again, other than him having them cheating tools, like Sasuke does probably have more like power as far as like, say his moveset, because he has like more skill with the Madarasu, you know what I'm saying? And also with the Susano, he has like the arrows too, which is a ranged attack, which obviously he probably would have a hard time hitting. But I feel like Sasuke could probably agree with what y'all said, probably like maybe five out of 10 times he could figure out a way to beat Itachi, like just through having more versatility with his moves. But it would still be an extremely difficult fight because Itachi still has is like he's not like way stronger or weaker in this case so like it would still be difficult but i think sasuke could win this is like the first stage where he could win it just depends on how the fight like goes down it's, it's a and also, i don't know about I, I definitely think that this is the point where they're the most even as far as like all right pound for pound yeah. these two have like like you know if it's just about killing this is the most equal version of them as you're gonna get because sasuke at this point has had a, mm -hmm. at least a little bit of time to use his mangekyo and get some practice in too i think killer b is a very bad showing Ooh. of a new power though it's like oh new power Oh, wash your ass kick. Yeah, I could never go Sasuke. out like that though. That, yeah, that could no, never he, be Sasuke me. went out sad, bro. Sasuke went out sad. But I'm different though. So what can I say? <laughs> you build different. <laughs> if at most you can draw this to a tie, but like Five Kage Summit can at least, if he swoops out the win, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't look at that and be like, yeah, that's stupid. That was Five Kage Summit Sasuke. Next one is going to be a bit more interesting depending on where this Sasuke lies into the story. EMS Sasuke. So I'll, I'll say this. If it's the EMS Sasuke that's neat, like right before he gets Sage of Six Pass. I do think he takes the takes the cake just because like he's basically five Kage Summit Sasuke on steroids and like his Susano is amped up more, more durability and all that stuff. So I think that Sasuke takes the cake. But if we're talking about like right after Sasuke gets EMS, I think that can still be argued at the very least. But I'm curious to hear y'all's thoughts on that. What do you think? I think that Sasuke had a pretty bad showing when it comes to the fact that his first objective was hey, don't kill somebody in a setting where he his whole thing is like you know, killing people. I think that that fight is a little bit unforgiving towards him because everyone thinks that like, oh, he's weaker than Itachi because Itachi's coaching him. But keep in mind, Itachi's telling him not to kill this guy. You know, he's like, hey, don't kill him. Lead him alive. So he's holding, holding back a bit. Yeah, so, so he, he's, he's already fighting at a deficit with his arm, with one hand behind his back at, at least. Now, and this is where things get worse for him. Itachi has unlimited chakra in this instance. Mm -hmm. But if we were to bring pure EMS like Sasuke, like fresh out of the gate, EMS Sasuke. And we paired him up against, again, this is just like, you know, Itachi, you know, no, no alive, Ita alive Itachi without the effects of the reanimation jutsu, right? This is just, Ita this is just Itachi. Because if that's the case, I think Sasuke can, I think Sasuke can beat him because- Like alive Itachi, EMS, right? yeah, alive yeah. Itachi. Because yeah. it gives you, because he has, well, one, the chakra consumption is less draining. You know, he, you, you have the fact that he's not going to be using his, he's going to be way more efficient than Itachi is because simply he's not using as much. I don't really get how having two Mangekios makes it, cop, you know, less, but you know, whatever type deal. But because of that, I think that like j just the overall strain and chakra on him, on Itachi, alive at least, I just don't see a world where, where, where he can last that long because we're already giving hints at towards his sickness and his illness makes it hard for him to, you know, maintain long forms of combat, which is why he typically ends them before they start. Yeah, like so even I, I, I definitely, fight. Exactly, or how he did it against, you know, Kakashi, just, you know, he wants to sleep him quick. You brought up a good point of him just trying to end the fights as quickly as possible. So with someone against Sa like Sasuke, who would have the EMS, who could be more chakra fit, I, I I just don't see I don't see him losing to Itachi in that one. I'd say that it's probably closer than I give credit because you still have the things like the outliers of experience, Sukiyomi, as I'm sure you know, Bio's gonna remind me. But overall, yeah, I, I I'd say that Sasuke probably takes that fight. I think that that one's the, the beginning of it shifting in Sasuke's favor definitively. And I'd say Sasuke takes that fight probably seven out of ten times. I'd love to hear uh bio's thoughts on it though so just be clear this is the oh, ems oh. right right yeah ems uh versus the and then this is a live itachi okay yeah. yeah and this is like when he first uh yeah when, when he, he first, first got it because it. it's obvious that like 
EMS. Yeah, I, even then, yeah. yeah, even then, I, I think I think Sasuke got it honestly because his amount of finesse with the like all his move sets just like skyrocketed as soon as he got EMS because now he doesn't have like that limiting factor. He doesn't have like I assume the pain anymore that was holding him back. Like he was like I feel like he's able to do so much more with it, and he unlocked um technically he unlocked a new move too, which is the uh, was it like the Yasuka Magatama beast. It, that's what it's called and he could code him in Su like in a Matarasu too which like i mean that's just another move but regardless i think like the amount that he increased with the just using it like utilization immediately would already be enough to like give him the edge if he could have already possibly won before he got it now this is like that but like with 10 times more finesse and no limit you know what i mean so like i i'd say he'd pretty handily win this without uh any issues like probably nine out of ten maybe more like sure the yadamir is gonna be like annoying but he could he could get around it it's not gonna last forever <laughs> again just with the chakra efficiency like he's way more efficient than anything Itachi's gonna be able to do. And Itachi's uh -huh. running on a shorter clock. You know, he he is six still, which is you know prime Itachi's like prime Haruzen. You know, you never see it, but everyone talks about it. <laughs> yeah. Like, now, nah, honestly, that's an interesting topic too. But that's that's another video. Yeah, another video for another day. But I, at least we can agree before we get into Edo, this version of Sasuke would be able to beat an alive Itachi. Correct. This is the one that we can definitively say yes. This one. Oh yeah, EMS. we're all in favor. Yeah. 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 All right. Then we'll go on to still EMS Sasuke, but can he? defeat edo itachi all right i can start this so this is what i think when he first gets the ems hell nah not happening <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> because now again itachi just has everything sasuke has but basically better the only thing sasuke has that's superior to itachi is his use of the amaterasu which doesn't matter if itachi has a susano you can't hit him with it anyways everything else he has better genjutsu he got a better susano because it has the sword and everything so like him having more finesse isn't gonna matter because he's just weaker overall and on top of that itachi has the better intellect anyways as we saw in like his fight with nagato and that kind of shine you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. now i think the version where he fought with kabuto is closer like a little but i still think itachi would be able to edge out a win just because it's kind of the same thing like they're close in power but itachi again just has a slightly better moveset and the slightly better intellect so i just don't see how sasuke would like handily win that maybe like two out of ten three out of ten and then like like i said before the late war arc, i think he could at that point probably do it just because he's like increasing in power yeah, by that point he has like a full blown susa no at that point uh, yeah like he got the legs on it like yeah full blown like yeah at that point then i think he'd be able to like and even then it'd probably just be like maybe a seven eight out of ten times but that one definitely more than not but the other two versions i i can't really see it so when it comes to the the chakra efficiency things that i was talking about before that kind of goes out of the mirror the, the room the second you give someone unlimited chakra right and and that, that, that that's kind of uh what we have here itachi is now more efficient than sasuke because he has more ch like he has unlimited unfettered chakra you can't really stop that so i i, I would kind of be implied to agree here too that the sasuke that fought against kabuto won't beat him but the end of war sasuke that I, I think that he could do it like at that point like you said he has he has enough battle experience during that war arc anyway multiple amps that's just it's just a clear I, again it's it's not more so if you can make an argument for itachi like, like you, you can like again unlimited chakra like it, what, what I do find interesting is that Eternal Manga Kill Sharingan, if you're dead, it, it has no use essentially. Like, it's not going to give you extra amps. If, like, say if you're an Edo, it's not going to give you extra amps because, like, the, the point of, or the drawback of the Manga Kill Sharingan was that uh, when you're alive, is that you're eventually just going to go blind after continued use. That is not an issue for Itachi. So he basically has EMS. Like, I don't think there's, like, unless correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think there's, like, and a, unlimited chakra. No, you're, you're correct. Okay. And unlimited chakra. Okay. Like, yeah. like that, that, that's a fundamental problem because he's not taking the damage whereas with izanagi or izanami you sacrifice the eye right with the other ones it, it's just your eyes being damaged so much that's why they bleed but now they're not bleeding because you have unlimited right so you could you could make the argument that itachi even fighting against ems near the end of the war arc that could be in favor towards itachi oh but, no but uh -uh. like if it's if someone could make the argument i'm not saying that is definitive but like like we outlined here that sasuke at that point has enough battle experience and rage moments where it's like that one is that one specifically is going to beat that itachi and that one at the end would have the full body susa now that too like i don't even think itachi has a we never seen it wait did he itachi didn't have a full-blown susa no right like full body not unless you're counting the naruto storm games yeah no, no, no. <laughs> yeah that's what i was thinking i'm like wait he only has it in the storm pretty sure but yeah we're not gonna count that not canon so i think we're all in agreement at this point early on sasuke uh, with the ems 
arguable but leaning towards Sasuke but definitely by the end it's EMS Sasuke beating Edo Itachi correct I agree again Edo Itachi is, is is just such a monster that early on he'd have a problem but at the end I could I could see him taking it once he got that finesse all right and then the final Sasuke we're gonna be talking about and this might be a quickie Sage so six pass Sasuke versus Edo Itachi I don't think we have to argue about this this is like, like this Bro, is <laughs> My All bad, right. not, but uh, so now that he is sealing, I think that it's clear that he can he can win this no problem because he is a definitive way of sealing. I'm sure that other rats he would have gone just like a press of force to seal him, but now like he he, he wins. Yeah, this. like he don't even really need the sealing sealing. Like I mean, he probably I mean I, I, technically he does, but he's just immediately dead. Like he's just gonna cut him in half, and he's not gonna be able to do nothing about it. And sure, he'll eventually regenerate, but like he's not gonna be able to fight. <laughs> so yeah, I guess sealing he wins it because of that kind of. But like he doesn't even need like you know what I mean like he could just yeah. It would, it would require zero effort to kill him instantly. It just makes it, like, that much easier to, like, oh, a definitive Yeah. Way. He can never stop him. Well, nope, he can definitively seal Yeah, him, so. no, he can seal. He can seal. Which, I wonder, actually, is there a way? Oh, no, nah, he, matter of fact, he Genjutsu, doesn't even... I mean, he Not can... that, he doesn't even need that, because he has the soul ripping thing, right? With the Renegon? Oh, yeah, there's that, too, of course, absolutely. Yeah, so, <laughs> shoot, he could just Rattle take his soul out. out. Yeah, okay, yeah, now it's light work. Yeah, he has the Sage of Six Path power, so it's literally, like, bro, that's it. Yep. I was gonna say... And, I'll... I mean, even then, technically... Technically, Chibaku Tensei is a seal too, because he sealed like the tail beast with it. Right, you gotta be a uh, super broken yeah, individual you, you to like probably pull that off. Just put him inside. I mean, you're not getting out. Yeah, you exactly. That, like, that he's stuck in a way, yeah. But that, that's that's easy one. That's easy one. Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't think this is like he doesn't have the truth seeking orbs, correct? I don't think that's just Naruto, right? Yeah, that's just Naruto. Okay, because I was gonna say if he did, then he yep. could just like whack it at Itachi and just take out his limbs, and he's done either way. But that's just a Naruto thing. But and also like if you want to go OD with it, it's just no at the end. And even without the charged up Susanoo with all the tail beasts or whatever, that's that's marking whatever Susanoo. Oh yeah, like, like, like that's like, that's, yep. that's not that's not even a fight. That's that's yeah, he'll just punch yep. Yadam. He'll punch mm. him on this. He'll pick him up so he doesn't have to worry about Yadamir. Just toss him somewhere. Yeah, no, he's stomping him like an ant. Like the, that is beyond like, that. Yeah, nah. Bro, not, nah, he gonna bust it. <laughs> yeah, uh, perfect Susana. Yeah, that's gonna go crazy. Yeah, nah, he's cooked. It's he's cooked, cooked, unfortunately. And then uh, I don't have this in the notes, but like to have good quota with the few Boruto fans in my YouTube channel. Rinnegan, <laughs> what, what is that Sasuke? Sasuke without Rinnegan. the Rinnegan list. Sasuke uh, in the in the Boruto just era. Rinnegan Sasuke. Like yeah, Rinnegan Sasuke. He's still beating Madara. <laughs> he's still beating Itachi. He's smarter, yeah, he, yeah. He's stronger. Got experience. Yeah. He just outscales them purely, and he still has his own. Yeah, as an though. adult. Mm -hmm. yeah, as an adult, no, he's he's stronger than than Itachi. He's older than yeah, him. He could be. It'd be like like blind Madara fighting like Naruto and Sasuke. Like even if you make him blind, it doesn't make him weak. Like he's still he's still. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, it's, it's done. But yeah, I'm glad we got to make this video. That's pretty much it. For the majority, it, it seems to be like for all the versions that we have, it's like about split down the middle in all honesty. But, you know, you can still Which make is a good sign of a character development, meaning at different stages, it, it was a slow encroach before it became like certain that he could win. Like he can basically never guarantee a win until we get almost towards the end of the series. And that's good because Itachi was his goal, right? Right. That's what we would want for yeah. his story. Like it, it wouldn't have been like satisfactory like like him just beating him out the jump like say even before part one ended like that that would just suck. Oh, um, then we'd be able. Well, to yeah, that'd be underwhelming. Like you worked your whole life and you defeated him by like twelve. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> which you know he tried to do in the, and, which is why I love that scene in the in the search of Sonata yard where he tried to do it. It, it humbled him. It's like yo, what I've been doing all this. Yeah. Life? All this long, which prompted him to seek out a road tomorrow at the end, you know, which is a good sign of storytelling in general. And, you know, sh shout out Kishimoto for that. But yeah, that's the video, guys. If you guys have any differing opinions on which Sasuke beats with, uh, which version of Itachi, let us know in the comment section below. Give your reasons, uh, state your manga chapters, and uh, yeah, do, do all of that. Uh, but do you guys have any uh, final words to uh, lay out to the people? You know I'm saying? Follow my Instagram, me. 72k underscore life. You know what I mean? What? Oh, so shout out Instagram. Indeed. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to put it in the description. All right. And then uh, King of Chaos, what are your final words? <laughs> Thanks for having you me, later. everybody. And be sure to drop a like for my boy, uh, Curly Haired Okage. Appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, it. And sure also, drop a dislike, y'all. Leave a negative comment. You know what I'm saying? I hate you so much. By the way, guys, if you guys haven't already, check out me and Chaos's collab on Itachi on his channel if Itachi is overrated. And also, my video, if you haven't seen it already, with Minato being overrated. Videos will be annotated somewhere in the end of the screen here. I want to thank you guys for watching and have yourselves an amazing and blessed day. Peace.